Hello everyone. Welcome to part 89 of SQL for beginner series. In this video session, I am going to explain about the different types of SQL statements. So in this video session, I am going to explain about the SQL statement types. There are several SQL statements and all these SQL statements can be categorized into different types. At a high level, the SQL statements can be categorized into these five types. What are they? DQL. DQL means, here I will be writing what is DQL. DQL means data query language. Okay. DQL means data query language. Then we have DML. Then DML stands for data manipulation language dql dml okay these are so far two uh, two types of uh, sql statements now we have ddl ddl means data definition language data definition language now we have tcl transaction control language and we have dcl okay data control language like this there are different types of sql statements that is dql dml ddl tcl dcl so dql stands for data query language dml stands for data manipulation language ddl stands for data definition language DCL stands for transaction control language and DCL stands for data control language. So all the SQL statements can be categorized into these five, five statement types. Okay. Any of these categories. So what are the different statements fall into the DQL? What are the different statements which fall into the DML? Let me give you some examples. So here we have the SQL statement types categorized into five types. That is DQL, DML, DDL, TCL, and DCL. Right. Under data query language, we have the select select SQL statement. You know about select right? For retrieving the records from the tables, we use select star from, select column name from table, like that, okay? That is select statement, which falls into the data query language category. Coming to data manipulation language, okay, category, we have the SQL statements like insert, insert into data into the table, update the data in the table, delete the data from the table. These are like manipulation things, okay? These three statements, okay, will fall into the data manipulation language. Coming to ADL, data definition language okay data definition language using this we can create objects okay in the database like you can create table you can create indexes okay like that we can create a lot of things uh, at same time we can completely delete the tables okay using the drop statement we can delete uh, those tables and all the stuff we can modify the objects okay modify the objects like modify the tables etc by adding more columns or deleting a column okay that is like alter then truncate we also have the truncate, okay, which also does a kind of a deletion kind of thing. Now we have TCL. Next category of SQL statement types is TCL, transaction control language, okay. Under this TCL, we have the SQL statements like commit and rollback, okay. Commit for permanent saving and rollback. If uh, not permanently saved, you can roll back to the previous state of the data, okay. So previous state of the objects, that is TCL. All the statements I explained uh, as part of the previous videos, guys, okay. In the previous videos of SQL, uh, in this video series, I explained how to use select, how to use insert, update, delete, create, drop, alter, truncate, commit, rollback. Now the last category is DCL. DCL stands for data control language. And under DCL, we have this grant and revoke. These are admin level permissions, right? Uh, if you want to give uh, some permission to the user to perform these operations, okay, you can grant. And if you want to remove the permissions of the user, for performing any of this kind of operations, then you can use revoke. Till now, till now I have not explained how to use grant uh, SQL statement or how to use revoke S SQL statement. I'll be explaining more about this grant and revoke SQL statements in the next video session, guys. Okay, in the next video session, I'm going to practically demonstrate to you how to use grant and revoke. Okay, how to grant permissions to the user for performing this kind of operations on the table and how to revoke, I mean, remove the permissions of the user 
from performing this kind of operations okay uh, these two sql statements i am going to explain after this uh, session that is in the next video session i am going to cover that so guys this is all about the different types of uh, sql statements we have and under different type of sql statements what are the different sql statements we have okay so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye